Okay, I'm going to be demonstrating cephalocaudal glides of the patella. So I have my patient lying supine. I'm going to take her up into about 15 degrees of knee flexion. And so this is indicated for patellofemoral syndrome, decreased, decreased range of motion, and increased pain. Um, or if the patient was immobilized for a period of time. And so I'm going to have my hands on the superior and inferior poles of the patella. And I'm just going to be doing glides up and down cephalocaudally. You can go back and forth, and then you can also do like a 10 second hold into the restriction in whichever direction that is. And so this can help stretch out the ligaments and the capsule, and you can do grades one through four. Grades one and two would be for pain, and grades three and four to increase range of motion.